What's up everybody? Happy holidays and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to bring you a review of a mini PC that has a lot of power under the hood. This is the Ace Magic. This is their Matrix Mini M1 Mini PC. And uh, I gotta say, this is a very, very powerful little system. Probably one of the most powerful ones that you can currently get on the market. And I think for people who are looking for something that has a lot of power under the hood, but don't give a shite about gaming, I think this is a system you're going to want to check out. So let's jump in. Let's check out this little bad boy. And at the end of the day, why I think currently why it's on sale, it's probably worth your cash. So let's go. All right, tech fans, real quick before we jump in today's video, do you guys happen to need a Windows 11 or Windows 10 key? Well, check it out. VIP Your CD Key has you covered and the prices have never been better. Check it out. Right now, you can use the code TOT20 and actually receive an extra 20% off their already low prices. All you do is go over to their website, check out the software that you'd like to get, Start an account, put said software in your cart, enter the code TOT20, click on that, check out. The code will be sent to you in just a few minutes and all codes are guaranteed for life. Yes, I said it for life. I personally guarantee these codes. I've been working with this company for decades. Those who watch the channel know this as well. They've been my main sponsor forever. But with that said, let's check out what is externally available on this Ace Magic little Matrix Mini M1. It's a mouthful almost, right? <laughs> I feel like, am I, am I talking about a movie? No, but anyways, let's check out the external stuff first and then we'll look at the inside and then we'll do some benchmarking and then we'll tell you at the end of the day, like what's up. So let's jump into that, shall we? So starting off the front of the unit, you can see there's a USB-C to the far left two USB 3.0 ports, a headphone jack, and then the power button. On each side of the M1 matrix, you can see that there are fins to alleviate and dissipate the heat away from the CPU that's inside the system. And there's also a fan in there as well that's very quiet, so you can use this in a studio environment because it doesn't make a lot of noise. In fact, you can't really hear it at all. And they're on both sides of the system, so there is airflow going through the whole system constantly. Now, on the back side of the system, you see the HDMI port. Down below that, you see the power. Then up on top again, you see the display port. Then we have the LAN port. Finally, four more USB 3.0 ports. And as you can see, there's still more vents on the bottom to help dissipate that heat away from the CPU. On the bottom of the unit, you can clearly see where this can be vase mounted. So if you'd like to mount this behind your TV or behind a monitor, you can do that very simply. And in this exact spot, there's a sticker on there. I'm not going to remove it because I don't need to remove it. But if you want to update the system, this is where you just turn this, pop it off, and everything is accessible right through that same thing. Now internally, this little bad boy is powered by the Intel Core i9 13900HK processor. 14 cores, 20 threads, 24 megabytes of cache, up to 5.4 gigahertz. The Ace Magic Mini PC is supposed to deliver superior speed and responsiveness, outperforming models like the i9-12900HK, the i7, the i5, the Ryzen 9, and finally the Ryzen 7. So it's supposed to have some juice under the hood. The unit comes with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. These are two 16 gigabyte dual channel SD RAM slots. It's expandable up to 64 gigabytes. And it has a one terabyte high speed M2 2280 SSD. You can scale this up to four terabytes to match your growing needs, whether for office use, creative projects, or just entertainment. This system was supposed to be designed for home studios, people that are on the go, mini workstations. It's really geared around people that are doing work type of stuff. Like I said earlier, this PC is not geared for gaming at all. And I'm very proud of the people at Ace Magic by not trying to pull the woolly over people's eyes and go, oh, it's a gaming system. Because let's just be honest. 
onboard Intel gaming stuff is crap. I'm sorry. I'm totally more for any of the AMD stuff. They have a much better onboard graphics solution for people who are looking to play games on their mini systems. I'm sorry, Intel. It's just the way things are. Now, Intel says that this is for perfect graphics through the three monitors, you know, at 4K 60 hertz, which is fine because the graphics will look fine if you're not doing gaming. If you're just doing interfacing, office stuff, creativity, stuff like that, the onboard graphics are just fine for any of that, Photoshop, any of that type of stuff, you'll be good to go. It's just not good for gaming. And once again, I'm glad that no one tried to push this system as a gaming system. Now, with all that said though, let's check out some test scores and let's see how powerful this little system really is. Okay, so check this out. This system is currently on sale for $459. And as you guys can see from the test scores, the CPU is powerful enough to run pretty much any desktop or music that you wanna do at your house. It's upgradable. I mean, four terabytes of storage is quite a bit and you can always hook up something externally really fast through USB-C. So there's no problem with doing anything like that whatsoever. I think that since this system first came to market and I held on to it because the price was like almost $700 when it first came out. And I was like, wow, I really don't know how my audience is going to react to this because this shit's expensive. I'm just being honest. Sorry, Ace. But that's just how it is. And so I held on to it. And then last week, I saw the price drop and I was like, okay, cool. Now I can do this video before Christmas why it's actually at a good price. And if you're somebody who's looking for something that's very powerful to do whatever you're doing at home, I mean, honestly, it'll pretty much do anything you want to, including 3D stuff, AI, whatever you need, it'll do that. The only thing it doesn't do and don't expect it to do is be some kind of gaming machine. I think for the price, this is a really well-deserved system. I'm going to give it a tech hub tomorrow. I think this is definitely a award winning a editor's choice product. I watched the price drop and for the performance that you're getting, all the features, this thing works simply. It's very quiet. Um, plus the fact that, I mean, it's so small that like in a music studio, you can literally like just set it back behind a monitor and do stuff. I mean, it's not going to be the greatest thing in the world for like making your super duper hit album but you can definitely do a lot of tracking and a lot of things on it without having to worry about any noise interrupting what you're doing in the workflow. And for those who just don't want, you know, any desktop space at all, hey, slap it there. Also, if you want to build the most super powerful TV box, you can do it. It's under 500 bucks, comes with a lot of memory, quite a bit of storage. You could add more. Anyways, that's my take on it. There will be links down below for you guys to buy this system or one similar to it. I'll have probably a couple different ones when you click on it so you can choose. But to, like I said, at the end of the day, this is an editor's choice product. It's quiet, it runs well, there's no problems with it whatsoever. Um, if you're an Intel fan, I think this is gonna be right up your alley. So peace out. I'll see you guys back from the channel. I have Patreon, so if you'd like to support the channel, you could uh, leave a dollar, one single dollar, also, if you like this video, please like it and share it if you would be that kind. I would appreciate you. Love. God bless.